the Journal of Child Psychology and Psychiatry, celebrating 60 years of empirical research, clinical studies, and systematic reviews. For details of our 60th anniversary celebrations, visit www.acamh.org slash jcpp60. Follow us on Twitter with the handle at the JCPP and use the hashtag JCPP60. My name is Aguirre Stringaris. I um, am the chief of the uh, Mood, Brain and Development Unit at the National Institute of Mental Health um, uh, in uh, uh, Bethesda in the uh, United States at the moment. Um, I used to uh, be a senior lecturer and consultant um, at the Institute of Psychiatry here in London in the Maudsley Hospital um, until about 18 months ago. And my association with the journal um, goes a long time back when I was a trainee and um, the, the journal helped me make sense at the time. It was a kind of a comfort read, um, helping me make uh, sense of what seemed a very chaotic world in the, uh, in the clinic at the time. Um, so it, uh, it uh, suggested to me that there was uh, the possibility of rigour, of scientific rigour applied um, to um, the uh, clinical uh, work um, with uh, children with mental health problems, and that was very crucial at the time. Uh, and it influenced my decision to um, do academic uh, work in this area. Um, it was also since, well, my, my relationship has, uh, has grown uh, since, of course, uh, with the journal, partly because I published, um, I think, my very first paper in child psychiatry, published elsewhere before. My very first paper in child psychiatry was published there in um, 2009. Um, and uh, it was like a dream come true after just being a reader of the journal to also become one of the authors. And then it was, I think, three or four years later that I became one of the um, joint editors, one of the editors of uh, JCPP and Edmund Chanugabark, the um, current editor-in-chief, asked me to, to join and that was a great honour. And uh, again, it was a quite unimaginable when I, was, uh, when I was a trainee that this would happen. So that also uh, gave me the... Um, opportunity to have uh, a look at the um, inside workings of, uh, um, of science and scientific publishing, um, which uh, was quite remarkable in many ways. Uh, so I discovered that, of course, it's a very serious business, a very important business, um, uh, and everyone is very, very committed to it, but it's also great fun. And uh, it's a forum of a very robust and a good, good quality. Uh, an enjoyable scientific uh, scientific discussion and deliberation as is happening today in the room next door um, at the editorial meeting um, this year. Well, I have a biased view, of course, because I'm one of the editors, so <laughs> I think it, the journal is amazing and it's going from strength to strength. But looking at objective indicators and for what they're worth, um, they they also suggest that so the um, um, the citations per paper the total number of citations per year have been have been increasing it is uh, within the ten best journals uh, in psychiatry um, uh, at the moment and that's a real real um, uh, achievement and there are about one hundred and fifty journals in psychiatry I believe so it's it's in the top ten it's really an amazing achievement for. Um, an area for, for a discipline like child and adolescent psychiatry, which was until not too long ago uh, very neglected. So I think it has a major influence. I also think that it has a, an influence on policy making, perhaps more in Britain than in other countries at the moment, um, uh, but it does have an influence on, 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 on policy making um, and thinking about public health more generally. And because it has a decidedly international perspective, and that's very, very important. Um, it, uh, it has uh, produced some fine papers about global mental health um, and it's continuing to do so. There's a strong emphasis in that and I think that um, um, gives it the uh, kind of the international edge, um, if you like. So this is, uh, and you know, this is thanks to uh, some very clever and, and thoughtful decisions made by um, Edmund and, uh, and other people over the years.
more than I do or have now. Um, when I, I had a canon of papers for my trainees and, 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 and I created this on the basis of what I had read, which was very important. And of course, the new stuff that was coming along, there was, I, thought, I thought of a similar quality. So within that canon of papers, with that very kind of um, uh, tight selection of papers, there were several uh, uh, that came from JCPP. In fact, I think the majority came from JCPP. The reason being that um, it's one of the very few journals that takes uh, uh, such a, um, a, a developmental uh, perspective on, on, on problems. So and that's what's been missing from both training and kind of general understanding of uh, psychiatric illness over the years. Um, it's also interdisciplinary. That's another thing that we mustn't forget. So it isn't uh, the journals of psychiatry, the journals of psychology, the journals of education, and they are usually quite, uh, you know, these worlds don't always talk to each other. Um, JCP makes it possible, and it's, you know, it's, it's, as the, ch the title suggests, um, and uh, and that's another thing that has been particularly helpful. So I, 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 I'm kind of somehow reluctant to choose one uh, one particular paper. There have been there have there have been there have been there have been uh, 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 many. Um, yeah. If you think about it, the, 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 the majority of children with mental health problems live outside the developed world. Uh, so just in terms of, just because the, you know, the majority of children just live outside of what is the developed, the developed or high income countries or whatever terminology one uses. So, so it therefore follows that if one wanted to maximize the, the well-being and the happiness of people on earth then uh, that would be it's a, it's it's the, le the next logical step is to look at uh, to look at low middle income uh, uh, countries it makes sense so from that point of view from the point of view of kind of you know doing the right thing it's important but there are also, uh, there are other considerations as well variations between countries are informative about uh, etiology about mechanisms so if the frequency of occurrence of a problem is different between two countries. That may, that may tell you why that is. Um, observing what happens in war and famine uh, and what implications that has for mental health problems can be very informative across settings. So you introduce variability uh, into the research that can be, that can be informative. There's a third uh, reason, of course, which is that um, things can become stale if it is the same kind of uh, the same researchers doing the same thing all the time. So it's good to bring in other players and people with other ideas and from different backgrounds. So that's very important. The, the challenge is sometimes to have to to be able to maintain the standard, the the, the rigorous standards of JCPP uh, when opening up to you know to. Uh, to as many people as possible, so that is always a fine balance. But I think that um, that the editorial staff are very supportive, uh, and 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 so we strongly encourage submissions from uh, from other from other countries, or the collaboration for that matter, of uh, people in other countries with uh, uh, you know established research groups um, elsewhere. So either model works uh, works fine, and indeed we have seen some very very uh, important. I think I would even say that one of the most important papers in the last couple of years was from a low middle income country um, and, and it's been inter an international success. Yeah, so uh, I'm interested in adolescent depression. So depression is one of the most uh, important public health problems, of course, and, and, and kind of one of the leading causes of the global burden of disease. Um, it is... It, 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 its maximum incidence is, is, is in adolescents and young adults, so the most new cases start then. Um, so I'm trying to find answers to some of the key problems of what, what makes people depressed, some people depressed and others not. So I am looking at uh, what is called pathophysiological mechanisms, so not necessarily the first causes of depression, but what happens uh, down the line, what happens in the brain in particular. And I'm interested in, um, in the motivational aspects of depression, the thing that, you know, why can't you get up in the morning and go to school or go to work, or, you know, why can't you be bothered to go to the cinema or see your girlfriend or whatever. So those sorts of things. And, and, um, and there's a, in the current terminology, reward processing is the word. So how do you process things that are rewarding or things that are punishing for that matter? So I'm trying to understand the brain, the brain basis of those, um, of those problems. And we've made some uh, significant advances in the sense that we can find brain signatures of problems with reward in people with depression. But we need to drill down more. So, and I think that one of the directions that the, uh, the journal may be <clears throat> adding 
uh, to what it does already is is, is some some more of the of the of the brain um, uh, science uh, that underlies or should underlie should inform uh, our 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 discipline. So that's I think that's uh, that's hugely exciting because it has a lot of potential for uh, both developing kind of objective markers as in other branches of medicine, but also uh, for developing new treatments now. Of course, one has to be critical, and this is where JCPP's role is so so crucial. So we don't want to sell uh, brain science as kind of the you know the, the one thing that is mm. important for the future, because there are a number of things that we need to be critical about, including uh, the analytical steps involved. So JCPP has a major role to play in that area, I think. To be part of the advancement of child and adolescent mental health, visit www.acamh.org.